Hello everyone, welcome to Key Factor Community. I'm Sven, today we're gonna to take a look at eGBCA REST API and how to use that with the CLI, also known as command line interface. We're gonna look at using Python and curl with two little simple scripts I put together that I'll get a link for on our description of the videos here that'll be in GitHub. And from there, let's hop into it. I'm also gonna disappear off the camera here, that way we can focus on the CLI. All right, we've got a shell open and we're gonna end up using the same image that I've used in some other videos with the Docker container. I've got over in my community folder here, the super admin P12 in the management CAPEM. So I'm gonna send those back up to our virtual machine I've got here that's got the Docker in it where we also did the bouncy castle Kotlin. So we've SCP'd those both up and now we're gonna SSH over to that virtual machine put in the password. Okay, here we are. So we can see we've got our P12 here and the management CA cert. So the next thing we need to do is start splitting the P12 up. We're going to put the keys into one file and we'll put the certificates into another file. So we run the command there for putting the key in. All right, and then we're gonna repeat the OpenSSL command here to put the certs in the other file. So we'll paste that in and prompt for the P12 password again, which we know is the foo123 from creating the videos early. Let's do a little zoom in and look. So we can see now we have our P12, a key file, and the PEM file. So for the Python part that we're gonna start out with, we're going to use the key in the cert file, and we're gonna install the Python packages like that. And then we're also going to grab the TLS cert on our EGBCA instance, so we'll save that too. That way when we connect over REST, we'll have the whole chain trusted like this. All right, so we got the files there. We're gonna make a directory for REST Python that we're gonna CD into. All right, and then we're going to paste in our script over here. And once these are in Git, you could just do a git pull to, or a git clone, I mean, to pull it down. So paste the script in. You can see we just got a few libraries we're using here. Real basic of just calling the REST interface and then some CLI flags here you can use to make this easy. All right, so we'll save and close the file. Let's make it executable. There we go. All right, we're executable now. So then we're going to create a OpenSSL comp for creating our cert. So we've got our DN structure and the subject alt name. We'll save that. And now we can generate a key. So we'll generate the elliptic curve key. Then we're going to generate a CSR now with that comp file we just made. All right. Let's take a look at what we got at this point. So we've got the comp, a CSR, and we've got the key. So now we can clear the screen and we're going to enroll for the certificate. So we see all the flags there that we're using and Post the CSR and we got a certificate back. All right, let's take a little look at it with some open SSL. All right, looks great. We're going to move on now to using curl next. CD back to our home directory. Clear the screen here, get some real estate back. And we're going to install JQ, which we'll use for parsing the JSON that we do with the curl side. And we'll make a directory for rest curl to put our script and enroll for the certs in over there. So we'll CD over to that. Actually, let's take a look at what we got first. So you can see we've got the rest Python and the rest curl directory. All right, now let's go into the rest curl directory. All right, up next as we copy the command here, we're going to create CSR comp file and we're going to repeat essentially the same thing we did with the Python one where we're going to paste in the OpenSSL information for generating our CSR for the curl enrollment. So same thing with the DN and a DNS name that we'll have in there. Let's save and close that. All right, we'll generate an elliptic curve key. Then we're going to take a peek at what we got. So we've got a key and a comp file at this point. Now we need to generate our CSR. And then we generate the CSR. We're gonna now add our little shell script we made. See, in this guy, let's scroll up to the top, some basic 
flags to enroll and the vars up top to what we're doing to enroll, formatting it with a JSON blob like that and posting that up. And then we'll end up writing the cert out to a, a cert file. Save and close this file. We're going to make it executable. All right. Then we can take a look at our file. So we've got the script, the key, the CSR, and the OpenSSL comp file that we used to generate it. Clear our screen to get the real estate back. And let's do an enrollment with the curl. So it's pretty much the same thing as the Python with the flags like this. And then we're going to go for enrollment. Now we can list and we have a certificate back. Let's parse our certificate. Check the contents of it. Running our OpenSSL command, we can see that we got a certificate back as well. Now we can see how easy it was to enroll with REST API using the CLI, using Python and Perl. And like we said, we'll have those scripts out in GitHub and we'll put the links to that in the description of the video. We hope we enjoyed and we'll look forward to doing the next video on REST API and using a UI tool such as Postman. All right, guys, take care.